Hello friends! Welcome to today's video. Um, I decided that I would start the year off with something very hard. <laughs> we will see if this works. I, uh, I'm not very confident in my skills yet as a resin artist that I can make this look beautiful uh, and functional at the same time. But we are going to give this a try. Now, I have looked up on the old YouTubes how to do this. And I learned, I learned a couple of things. Uh, number one, I learned that there are little holes in this one, as you can see right here, <clears throat> that I need to make sure that resin absolutely 100% fills those little holes. Okay? I also learned that after this is all said and done and um, demolded, that I need to glue it together myself, which I already kind of assumed, but it was good to get that confirmation. You know what I mean? Uh, the other takeaway that I have decided for myself is that as long as these pieces are not as tall as these pieces, I should be A-OK. -okay. Because otherwise, this just ain't gonna work. So we're gonna we're gonna give this a try and and see how we do. Now, I have also decided that these pieces are going to be done with the Al Alumalite black coloring, and then these pieces I've decided to attempt a galaxy coloration so I got some pink some purple and some blue right here um, with a little bit of black maybe some speckles of white we shall see we shall see how it works uh, please if you are the praying type please pray for me because I'm not sure that I can pull this off but I'm hopeful because it's a very cute mold and I want to see if I can do it. I also need to clean it because I just took it out of the plastic and already there's stuff all over it. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. Hopefully it works out. I guess uh, if you're seeing this video, then something had to go right or something went very, very wrong. And this video currently has the word fail in the title. So let's, let's get started, shall we? As always, I'm using my total boat resin the tabletop resin because it cures so quickly and so beautifully and mostly bubble free which I love and yeah that's that's what we're doing today so let's do that and hopefully it works all right <laughs> let's go Hey guys, this is a general reminder to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a video. Thanks so much.
All right, friends, these are cured. So exciting. Okay. So let's go ahead and start unmolding. Okay, good. There are a few bubbles, but I'm not terribly worried about those because they will be hidden. Okay. So I've got all the little notches in there that I needed, which is good. Okay. And there we go. So, for these, I'm going to do my um, acrylic paint thing that I typically do. Do I have it over here? I do not. Let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so I have my acrylic paint. It's just some cheap stuff from Walmart. And then I'm going to grab some paper towels. And I'm going to go ahead and show some of this on here because I've had quite a few questions lately from people on um, some of my videos about how, how I do this. So I guess let's start with, let's just do the, the, the words of the week. Yeah. So what I like to do is use a scraper like this. And just scrape the paint into the little words. This paint is really running. And right now I'm not worried about it, you know, dripping down the sides or anything. I just want to make sure that enough of it gets into the words. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to take my dry paper towel and I'm lightly rubbing the paint like this in a circle. And this does two things. Number one, it gets the excess paint off of it, but also it pushes more of the paint into the lettering. Um, and because I'm doing it gently, it does not pull the paint out of the lettering, if that makes sense. And you can see that I'm moving to a new dry piece pretty often. Now the bad thing about this is it does show all the little bubbles that you have in your piece. But it does what I want it to do, which is get the paint into the words. And then for like this back part, you see I'm just rubbing it and it's coming right off. But if you have any extra that's left on it, 
after you've done that for the back part you can just take some isopropyl alcohol or water and a q-tip or paper towel or whatever and just get the rest of it off and it's like kind of like buffing the piece and literally all I'm doing is just rubbing in circles to get the excess paint off of it. It does take a little while. It's not going to be a quick and easy process. But this way you don't have to worry about having super fine um, paint brushes or whatnot, you know. And I don't know about you guys, but I find that when I use alcohol ink to letter my pieces and then use isopropyl alcohol to get the excess pieces, uh, the excess alcohol ink off, it causes a, like a, I don't know, a weird effect on the resin that I don't really care for. Anyway, I'm going to work on the rest of these pieces off camera and then we will assemble it. Okay, stay tuned. Alright friends, um, <laughs> it's been a few days as you can tell. Um, yep, I got really, really sick <laughs> after I filmed the first bit. Um, so, it's been a few days. After I finished filling in the numbers and the letters and stuff, pardon me, I moved everything over to one of my other tables and then um, laid everything flat so that way it would stay that way while it dried. And then I got sick, so everything is very well dried now. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put this together now. Uh, hopefully it works out okay. Yep, yep. So pretty self-explanatory it looks like. And it looks like they all fit in there pretty good, as you can see. Um, looks like they all might move pretty easily. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and then here's the top plate. Now the thing with this, I don't remember if I mentioned this. Um, the thing with this top plate mold is the side that you're looking at is the top side. That's the front side. Um, as you can see because of all the little nubbins on there. Um, so yeah, so just be mindful of that. Um, I will say something about this mold, though, that I'm a little disappointed in. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. There's like a... I want to say it's like a warping, but it's almost as if something had been pressed up against it while the silicone cooled. <clears throat> And so it left that same indentation, you can see, on this. Now luckily this is the back side, so you're not really going to see it, but... And also I've got some sheen on there, I'm not really sure. I think it might have been too cold down here. Um, when I poured these. Just want to get all of this, like dust and stuff off of here. They were sitting over there for quite a few days. <clears throat> okay. So for the glue, I'm going to use some tacky glue for this. And I'm going to get just a toothpick out. Just put a little 
bit on my work mat here. And I'm going to put some into the little hole thing, but also onto the nubbins. I call them nubbins. I don't, what, it, what would you call them? <laughs> the little, the little, the nubby things that you stick into the hole, you know. Stop it. Get your mind out that gutter. You know what I mean. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit more to these. Okay, and we're going to I think we're in there. Yeah, we're in there. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit for a while. <coughs> let the glue dry and then we will um we will be back. Yeah, hang tight. All right. So it's all together. This is how it looks. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, <laughs> it's cute in theory, um, but it was sincerely a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie, especially because of this thing. This isn't just warping, um, the way that this was designed, these little pieces back here are clearly supposed to help support the piece when you put the resin in. Um, and it only does that kind of because one of the other issues that I found was right here, the resin was super thick for no good reason. Um, and I think that's because it had like you know, it wasn't being supported fully by this mold. I probably won't use this mold again. Do I recommend buying it? <clears throat> Not really. <laughs> It'll be linked in the description if you want to try it out for yourself. But, um, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with it. Give them a while to make it a better mold. That's what I would say for this. Um... But yeah, that's today's video. Sorry that um, videos were so late. You know, <sighs> can't help getting sick, unfortunately. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be, I'll sound so much better in next week's videos for you guys. Um, again, I apologize about being sick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really does help out my channel. Also, if you're new and you want to stick around, you can do so by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.